Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. A few days ago I grew some microgreens. These are radish microgreens. Most of them grow really well and there's a few that are straggling behind. So what I'm going to do today is experiment with these guys right here. I'm going to try to take these out and put them into a hydroponic system and see if I can get them to grow into a full radish. So what I'm going to use today is my small hydroponic system for non-circulating method. I'm going to use the net cup here that will go into there and we're going to use a rock wool that's going to go in like that. So the first thing we'll do is dig those guys out there and then I'm going to put this into rock wool with half strength nutrient for now until uh, they're ready to go into the system and then I'll transplant that but I'll take you guys through the whole process so let's start by digging these guys out I'll dig a few out and take the best one this one looks the best with nice roots strong stem so I'll use that so we're gonna rinse this guys off this is just regular water so when I wash you wanna wash the roots clean you have to be very gentle not to to damage any part of the roots because you need that okay there we are you don't have to remove everything completely a few bits of dirt in there is just gonna be fine what I'm gonna do now is place this into my rock wool so I'll tear this out in half you don't have to tear it all the way just enough to fit the radishes in so around like that is good and then I have my nutrients here I'm gonna just leave this here for a few days to make sure that it it can recover and grow a little bit before I put it into the system so I'm gonna give it a little bit of nutrients So as you can see, the rock will just drain the nutrients up completely right away. So you want it to give just a tiny bit at the bottom to remain. And I'm going to keep this under my lights for a few days or maybe a week before I transplant them into my system. But um, that's all for now. I'll come back and show you what it looks like when that happens. Okay, it has been exactly three days now and my plants have spread out enough roots to be transplanted. So basically I just place that into this little container, add some nutrients to the bottom to promote the roots to grow out and there it is there. So today we will transplant that into this little vitamin container. So what I did was uh, I drill a hole at the top so that net cup can fit in like that and then I tape the bottom area and the top part I just I'm just gonna wrap this up you can tape the entire area if you like but I have this little cloth thing here that I'll put around just like that and the reason for that is this container has a little side here so I can monitor how much water it gets and where the roots are and this fit right on like that so what we'll do now is um, we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with nutrients and that's how I'm gonna monitor it and I want the nutrients to touch the bottom of the net cup because the plant does not have enough roots to go all the way down here so touching it is what you want and then I'll just fill this up this is the general hydroponic flora series I'll list all the information in the description so check there okay that's about touch my net cup now let's just put this back then we'll have this on top and just push it down 
so that it can make contact with the water and that is it so what we'll do next is we'll place it under our lights you need really good lights for radish to grow or else they'll just grow tall and skinny and that wouldn't be too great I'll check back in a few days alright today has been exactly four weeks since the transplant and the radish has been growing very well uh, it's a little bit stretchy because I left it in a corner as you can see here it's a little bit taller than I, than I would like but I corrected the lights and then after that it started to grow really well and it has started to bulb up a little bit so there's a little bulb here so let me show you there it is a little radish I don't want to take this out yet because I'm gonna let it grow a little bit more but there it is you, there's a radish in there so the water has been down pretty much all the way and I filled it up a little bit so now it's back to about right here and so in the four weeks I only have to refill it one time I didn't change it out I just add more water and that's about it so the next time you guys decided to grow microgreens and there's a few stragglers and you want to experiment with just take them out and put them into a little tiny container put into a larger container if you want and put multiple uh, plants in there and they will grow very well this experiment has been working really nicely I'll be getting a radish pretty soon so as you can see it's very simple to do it doesn't really take much time and effort it's just place it in the system and watch it grow check water every once in a while if it's down to the bottom fill it up a little bit leave a gap for air so that the plants does not drown and let me show you the roots check that out so as the water level drop plants would send down more roots longer roots to get to the water level so this is called the non hot circulating method works pretty well alright I hope you guys enjoy the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and make sure to check the description section I will post some information there thanks for watching